So, um, whew. first thing, ladies and gentlemen, we can see is we can multiply everything. Uh, we can multiply dx on both sides. And then we could obviously multiply the y on both sides, right? So when we are multiply a 2y on both sides, so I have a 2y. Now we could leave the y, we could leave the 2 over here. If we want to, we could just multiply by y. But I don't really see it being any uh, of an advantage. Now just remember though, over here, to make sure you guys you know, kind of put this in parentheses just to kind of recall that it's that whole product fin, the 3x squared plus 1 is all within parentheses times the dx, OK? Um, so therefore, I've separated my variables. Yes, y's, x's on separate sides. Now I can go ahead and integrate both sides. So integrate here, um, integrate y, that's going to be uh, just going to be y um, plus c, but we're going to throw the c onto the other side. This is, uh, let's just do it this way, 2 times 1 half times y plus c equals 3 times 1 third x cubed plus x plus c. Now I can go ahead and simplify it. y equals x cubed plus x plus c. Yeah, it's y squared. Oh, thank you. Missed that. Cool? Yes? No? This one half? Remember when you add 1 and then you divide by 1 over n. So remember the integral of x to the c. If you integrate that, that's equal to 1 over c plus 1 times x to the c plus 1. Right? So that's why from here I had squared. So I added 3 and then divided by 1 third, yeah. or multiplied by 1 third. OK, um, so now we're going to do the, uh, so now we got to solve for y though, right? So I mean, that's not too bad. Um, Nathan, all I'm going to do is now to undo the square, and I'm going to take the square to both sides. y equals plus or minus x cubed plus x plus c. Yes? Well, you're right. Absolute value, yeah, you're going to have to include that. But in this case, this is just a square root. So we have to undo, so we have to include the plus or minus, right? And this is going to be our general solution. Why do I keep on doing this? OK, so that's our general solution. Now, the problem with the plus or minus, I said you can do the plus or minus with the, with the absolute value the way we did it. It's just not very. Um, it, it doesn't, it's just not very helpful. I like using the technique that I showed you guys. Because with plus or minus, you have two of them. So when I find a particular solution, you can't have like two answers. You're going to have one answer, one value for c, right? So I'm just going to erase this because all my work is over here. Is that OK? All right. So now let's go ahead and find the solution. So in this case, I'm going to have, just plug in my value. So I'm going to have 4 equals plus or minus square root of 1 cubed plus 1 plus c. So I have 4 equals plus or minus the square root. 1 cubed is 1 plus 1 is 2. Uh, so I get 2 plus c. Now to undo the square root, I can just square. Right? So it doesn't matter if it's plus or minus. When you square it, that kind of gets rid of the plus or minus, right? Ah, that's kind of nice. So therefore, I have 16 equals square root of 2 plus c. I'm sorry, just 2 plus c. Subtract 2, subtract 2, c equals 14. Now, when I go back and write my answer, what should I use? Should I use the positive or the negative? Because I can't use both. You can't write as a particular solution y equals plus or minus the square root of x cubed plus x plus 14. That is not a particular solution. When a solution, we're looking for the one value, the one equation that's going to give it, that's one equation that makes that true. We, we can't use plus or minus. 
General solutions, that's OK, because C is kind of like this unknown. We don't really know what C is. So the plus or minus is OK. But here, we got to figure out this exact value. So again, the way to kind of figure this out is go back and plug in your original point. When you plug in 1, 4 into that equation, which one does it give you, the positive or the negative? Or which one is true? So when I plug in 1, 4, so 1 and then 4, I get 4 equals you know, plus or minus square root of um, square root, that's going to be 1 plus or 16 squared. So which one do we want this to be, positive or negative? Positive. positive. So our correct answer is that. Now, let's just, play this, let's just play this around one more time. Let's do a C. What if I said the solution was f of 1 equals negative 4? OK? So you do the exact same thing. You're doing all this work. Um, you're going to get negative 4 equals plus or minus square root of 1 cubed plus 1 plus C. Negative 4 equals plus or minus the square root of 2 plus C. You're going to square both sides. 16 equals 2 plus C. C equals 14. So you get the same value C. However, when I go back to my general solution, y equals plus or minus square root of x cubed plus x plus C, or I'm sorry, which is 14 now. Watch what happens. Now when I plug in my point, negative 4, 1, now which equation should I be using, the negative or the positive? The negative. Do you guys kind of see how that would work? So the plus or minus is OK for the general solution. But for the particular solution, you're going to have to like check it. So once you find your value of c, then kind of go back to the original um, case and then plug that in to make sure you check it. Because it could be the positive, it could be the negative. All right, But there's only going to be one. All right.